I don't suppose that hard work, discipline, and a perfectionist attitude toward my work did me any harm. I would beg to differ with some of this quote. Having a perfectionist attitude causes you high stress to be type A. Certainly you should try to put in 100% work ethic, quality, to your own capacity and standards to the best of your ability in all that you do. If you're not going to show up 100% of what you can offer, you shouldn't show up. And that capacity is going to vary on a day-to-day -day basis. What 100% is for you. You should put quality in to all that you do and into the work that you do, whether that's the work of your career or the work of maintaining your household, your finances, your health, your family, your friendships, your hobbies, your internal work, meaning trying to grow your character. solving your problems, being emotionally stable, achieving proper mental health, ridding yourself of negative habits. We should always put in 100% of what we can on a given day. Quality. But not perfectionism. Perfectionism leaves you highly stressed. and never satisfied. It will leave you feeling like you're 100%, even on a 100% day, when you've given it your all, was not enough. You will always feel not enough. You should work to not be a perfectionist, but you're not gonna be perfect and not being a perfectionist, but you should aim to be less of a perfectionist. Hard work, discipline. Work ethic is a highly valuable quality. If you want to get more out of life, get more out of your relationships, get more out of your job, get more out of your attempts at health care, get more out of whatever you're working toward, your work ethic counts. Your sense of duty, obligation, responsibility, diligence, perseverance, your capacity to try to do your very best and a sense of internal drive. You don't need to be motivated externally to try to put in the work, sweat, equity, time, energy, attention, and focus into that thing. The more you invest in, the more you will get out. If you invest more in your relationship, more time, more attention, more spontaneity, more humor, more affection into your intimate relationship, you will get more out of your intimate relationship in return. The more hard work you put into a thing, the more return you get back from a thing. I'm sorry, my landlord is doing the yard at a really inopportune time. And it also makes you a more valuable person. Hard work and good work ethic are the same and having them not only gives you better outcomes and rewards for your effort in every situation in your life, not just at work. But it also says something about your character. You come across as someone reliable, dependable, and invested. And this will cause people to want you around them more.
involved in what they're doing more because they know they can count on you. If you're there for them, you're really there for them. So developing work ethic versus being aversive to work or doing just as much as you can to skate by, be that in your relationships, in your health, in your job, wherever, you will get back just what you gave, just enough to skate by, just enough to call the thing, just, just working hard enough not to get fired. And you won't be seen as dependable, reliable, and someone to call on and count on. You won't be looked to. It reflects on your character. And discipline is what holds all this together. Giving 100% of what you have to give to the things that you do, do choose to invest yourself in and again, your 100% is gonna vary. Giving quality, not perfection, but quality into the things you choose to invest in. Hard work, time, energy, sweat, attention into those things. Effort into that investment and doing it with discipline. Discipline is choosing to do something over and over and over and over again with consistency whether you feel like it or not there are going to be a lot of days when you feel like continuing that argument with your spouse but you know that it's a pointless silly argument over nothing and it will be detrimental to your relationship and you pride yourself on your loyalty to your partner and your ability to keep the peace and choosing your battles. So you consistently defuse the situation, allow the time and space and come back and talk in a peaceful manner rather than getting the last word in. You choose consistently right choices. You have the discipline, whether you feel like it or not in the moment. You don't feel like getting up and taking that walk you feel like going back to bed but you know because you have committed to yourself that you're going to work on your fitness that you're going to be internally motivated through discipline to get up and do that thing today tomorrow and the next day regardless if you feel like it or not regardless if it's raining outside you'll walk inside or you'll put on a raincoat but you're going to do it because you've made a commitment and you put in quality effort into everything that you invest your time and attention to. I don't suppose that hard work, discipline, and a pursuit of quality, not perfection, attitude toward my work did me any harm. In fact, it will do you good. And what else will do you good? Put a smile on your face, even if you don't feel like it. Good morning. Bye, YouTube.